Hello everyone, in the previous video we learned how to create a text box object. In this video, we will learn how to add a scroll bar object to a text box object. In this example, we will create frame, text box, and button objects. Then we will add a scroll bar to the text box object. So let's start. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me. I will do the project from scratch. I created an empty desktop window. First of all, I add the frame object as we learned in the previous lessons. I am sending some parameters to the frame function. These parameters represent the physical properties of the frame object. I am doing the bind operation using the pack function. I added an empty frame object to the desktop window. Now I am creating a text box object. I'm passing variables to the function that describe the physical location of the object. I set its position with grid. We added a text box. Now let's create a scroll bar object. I am using the scroll bar function to create the object. I'm defining a command function. I'm using this object right now. I adjust its position with grid. Added scroll bar object to text box. But because it's dark, it doesn't look right. I set the window's appearance to system. It looks clearer now. I would like to briefly show how the scroll bar object works. I am adding string to the object. But there is a problem. Scroll bar object does not work because we haven't synchronized the text box and the scroll bar object yet. I will use the name command at this stage. I am sending command object to configure function. Let's try again. I am adding string to the object. The scroll bar object is synchronized with the text box. I will create a button as we did in the previous example. I am using the button creation function. I'm sending information to the function that describes its physical properties.
I am doing the bind operation with grid. I will define a command function with pass. First I want to see that the button is actually added. I'll change the task function later. Button added. Now let's print the entered text to the console screen using the get function. I will send the start and end parameters to the get function. When the button is clicked, the entered text is printed on the console screen. In this example, we created a button, text box, scroll bar, and frame objects. Thanks for watching. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me.